Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, Hawkeye begins. We've actually got episodes one and two, so have a chat about it. And real quick, I do actually kind of appreciate Disney dropping two episodes in a row. I think that was a really good play. Episode one is very much like, kind of like a backstory setup kind of thing. And then episode two, the main story really kicks in. But straight away, right in episode one, right at the start, we get introduced to Kate Bishop. She's actually a kid right at the start because the beginning of this show starts when Loki arrives and I really appreciate that. She actually sees Hawkeye and that like inspires her to take up archery and she just loves Hawkeye and I like that. I like when things connect man. Marvel, they know what they're doing. Of course then we get a time jump. We do see Hawkeye. He's kind of got some sort of like PTSD kind of thing going on. He's with his family. He's in New York City. He's chilling out. And the setting for the show, it is six days until Christmas and it is very, very Christmassy. They got the snow, they got the trees, and of course they got the songs. They nailed the Christmas vibe to the dot. I think that is like a big part of this show. It kind of feels warm in a weird way. And to be honest, I would love to go New York City during Christmas time because you guys are taking it serious, man. I mean, we love it in the UK, but America does it differently, man. And I think one day I'd love to go during Christmas. And of course, through the story, Kate obviously bumps into Hawkeye. I'm not gonna explain how, but to be honest, I kind of like this little story that's going on. It's pretty much following, at the moment anyway, the Ronin. And if you remember who the Ronin is, he's basically Hawkeye when he was in Endgame murdering people. I'm not going to explain how, but there's a big Ronin story mixed in here with Kate meeting up with Hawkeye. And I really enjoyed it, man. Like, I think the story will pay off. It's definitely like not this crazy high stakes alien invasion or spy thing. It's very, very low-key. Which, if you've seen the trailers, you already know that. But if you're going into this expecting, like, Loki, One Division, even Falcon and Winter Soldier level of stakes, you might be a little bit, like, I wouldn't say disappointed. You might be a bit shocked at how low this is. I like it because I like different tones within the MCU. I don't need crazy, big, humongous villains or explosions. I don't need all that stuff. Give me a good story in the MCU. I'm going to enjoy it. So I think the majority of people who are big fans of the MCU are going to really like this, like, chill down take. Again, I personally really like the Christmas vibes, man. I hope that stays through the whole show. I'll be honest, I wasn't 100% sure of Kate Bishop and episode one, but by episode two, the chemistry of Hawkeye is kind of awkward, but it kind of like, it's kind of nice, man. I like it. I don't really need to say anything about Jeremy Renner. I've said bare times on the channel. I really like Jeremy Renner. I think Hawkeye is an amazing character in the MCU. Of course, he's going to kill it. Basically, I'm on board for the ride. Hopefully, they stick the landing. Again, it feels very toned down, which is what I like. I think some people might, I don't think, again, they'll be disappointed, but they might be like, you know, not as hyped or gassed up for this just because it is the stakes anyway are quite low. But it is like a personal story to Kate Bishop and, of course, Clint, a.k.a. Hawkeye. That's what I personally want to see, like, story that's personal and hopefully, yeah. If I had to grade the episodes, uh, I think episode one for me is a 7.5. I think episode two actually is probably a 7.5 as well. Ladies and gentlemen, have you seen the first two episodes? Whatever did you think, let me know down below. Of course, I'm going to be doing weekly quick episode reviews on the channel. Also, in a few hours, I will have my non-spoiler movie review for Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Make sure you subscribe with a stupid bell so you don't miss that. Ladies and gentlemen, see you next week.